What's going on y'all? The reviewer is here and I'm back to give y'all this movie review of Final Destination. And this movie came out in 2000 and this is a supernatural horror film that's directed by James Wong. All right. Now I remember when I seen this movie in theaters, man, I was so anticipated to watch it. You know, after I was watching, you know, the, the commercials, you know, the previews and all that stuff. And it had me so anticipated. But I'm going to tell you all about the movie. All right. So it stars Devin Saw, this is Sawa, as Alex Browning, Ali Lauter as Claire Rivers, Kurt Smith as Carter Horton, Tony Todd, who is known as Candyman, um, as William Bloodworth or the Metician, the Mortician. Kristen Cloak as Valerie Newton, Roger Smith as Agent Shrek, Shaw William Scott as Billy Hitchcock, and many other actors and actresses that was on the film. Uh, for those that I may have forgot, I'll put those in the description box. All right. So this is the Blu-ray version. And I had the DVD, but I wind up losing it, losing it, or it got scratched up. Y'all know how that goes. This is the first installment of all the Final Destination films. All right, there was five of them. Uh, I think there's a sixth one coming out. I'm not too sure, but I'll check more into that. All right, so I'll give y'all the beginning of the movie on how things came about. It starts off, you know, as Alex, he's the main character on the movie. He's getting ready to go take a plane flight to France, all right? And so is the rest of the people that is on this movie cover. So there's a lot of hints that's going on. The number 180, it stands out throughout this movie. As they getting ready to go on the plane, you know, they're doing the check-in with the luggage and all that stuff. He's just having this vision of things happening that he's like he's kind of not feeling the trip and as he goes on the plane he was sitting next to one of the girls that was on the plane and then once he moved he sat next to his friend named Todd and all of a sudden he starts getting this premonition he was, you know, they, the plane took off and then all of a sudden a lot of problems happen and the plane starts getting dysfunction and it starts blowing up and everybody just, you know what I mean, getting scared. He, he winds up getting killed and then once he woke up from the premonition, he started freaking out. He started saying the plane's about to explode. Oh man, I'm about to, I have to get out of here, blah, blah, blah. And then... There's a lot of commotion between him and the guy named Carter, who is Kurt Smith's character. So there's a lot of commotion going on with them and all that stuff. So Sean William Scott character named Billy Hitchcock, he happens to be in the area where Carter and Alex is arguing and just, you know what I'm saying, causing a lot of commotion. And then Ali Lata character, Claire, she got the feeling that something was wrong so she got up from the plane as well along with them along with some other people so all this going on carter is like upset with the fact that he couldn't get on that plane and, and things of that nature so one of the teachers who is valerie newton who is Kristen's cloak character she got off the plane with them as well and you know they they agreed to wait a few days or i think another time to take the plane to france and then all of a sudden the plane takes off and the plane explodes just like he said on the um just like he predicted on his premonition and everybody is at shock and, and you know like this they couldn't believe it happened or it actually happened so after that i'm gonna stop there <laughs> one thing I'm going to say one part about the movie 
it, it might give a little spoiler, not too much. So if you haven't seen it, I will skip this part and I'll put a timestamp to where I don't see any more spoilers. All right, here we go. So even though everyone got off the plane, Alex friend Todd is the first one to go. He, he's the first one to get killed. And the killer is actually deaf. You know what I'm saying? That set him up to be killed in his bathroom. And it was certain clues throughout that scene that many people may not pay attention to, but once death attacks him and kills him that's when that's when the creepy part occurs i said one scene that for those who haven't seen this film was kind of a spoiler with all that being said um i think to me i think to myself that this is a really well thought out film for a rated R movie, all right? This is one of those horror films would, where you wouldn't think that the killer would actually be some type of nature. You know what I'm saying? This is one of the first films or the first horror films that actually started this trend. One of my favorite scenes off of this movie is the scene when they was in the morgue with Tony Todd's character who was Bloodwork. Y'all know him from Candyman movies. This is when Alex and Claire decide to, you know, sneak in and pretty much Bloodworth pretty much told him what he has to do to escape. Which I won't say any parts of it, but this is one of my favorite scenes in the film as he's explaining how death does and then he just that voice man you can tell he's just uh this evil with it and then one another one of my favorite scenes is when they all in the car together discussing the situation about whether who did what or what if we you know what i mean like that's one of my favorite scenes in the movie too man because it just gets me so hyped man when i watch it now for those who have not seen this movie before, if you like horror movies, I would recommend watching this one right here. And for a movie that came out in 2000, it still gives me chills whenever I watch this movie. Because this reminds me when I was a teenager, I was like 17 at the time. And this movie gave me the creeps, man, because it had me cautious on everything that I made you know, during like my movements. It, it was crazy, man. It, it just had me so freaked out. And what they said about this, it says, smarter and original than most dead teenager movies. And I must agree with that. Because like I said before, you know, you got Friday the 13th with Jason Voorhees. You got Halloween with Michael Myers. You got Nightmare on Elm Street with Freddy Krueger. You got Puppet Master, you, you know what I mean? Child's Play with Chucky. But this one right here is much different than all the others. I'll explain more of that on Final Destination 2, which I'll review in the near future. All right. I would highly recommend you watch this film. And it also has the special features. You know, they have like behind the scenes and you got deleted scenes interviews and things like that so if you like the special features which i kind of prefer you know honestly you would definitely cop the blu-ray i don't know if it's starting to be out of print or not but i would if you're a collector like i am i would definitely recommend purchasing the blu-ray before it's too late all right so with that being said shout out to the director of this film um, he, he, James Wong, he definitely made some type of trend when it came to these type of movies. 
You know what I mean? Like I said, this is not your typical horror films like the ones that I listed uh, previously. Um, shout out to all the actors and the actresses and much love to the real folks. And I'll be on here back with another review. All right. Peace out, guys.